Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to work Java Builder and how to build XML file for Ant Builder and in last, how to Ant Builder add for your Java project. So let's start practical session. A Java project is associated with a Java Builder. To see the builders associated with the project, we should go to project, select the project menu and go to property. In the left pan, you can select builder. So this is Java Builder is associated with this project, by default it is enabled. So first I want to show you the output of this program. So let's run it. So this is just one statement in our program, just one statement. This is the first line. So now I'm going to property and disable. So you can see this, this is the advanced operation disabling a project builder can have many side effects continue. So I want to show you what are the side effect and first I want to add one more statement. Second line. So let's execute it, run it. So you can see this is first line. This is the last output. This is the not latest output because Java Builder is disabled. So let's enable it. Now run it. So this is the latest output because Java Builder is enabled. Because the Java Builder is responsible for compiling the Java source code and generating classes. The Java Builder is notified it changes to the resource in a workspace and can automatically compile Java code. So if you want to add Ant Builder into your project, you should go to property, then go to new and select Ant Builder. So we need build file uh, for Ant Builder. So first we will create build file. So go to file and export. Under the general you can select Ant Builder. Next Ant Build Files. Okay. Next select the project to use generate the Ant Build Files. My first project and leave it default and this is the build file name build xml finish so you can see this is the build xml file has been created now go to project then property then new and select and builder okay select build file this one go to browse then okay and Okay, you can now disable Java Builder if you want. Apply and close. Now add one more statement into your source code and this is third line. Now let's run. So this is third line, this is the output, latest output because Ant Builder is enabled. So you can enable both builder. Now this is the last statement, both builders are enables so let's run so now you can see both builders are enabled ant builder as well as java builder i hope you understand these topic java builder build xml file and ant builder in this video i'll see you in the next video with new topics so all the best